ten of pentacles. I mean, got to be good. <sighs> got to be. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm sitting here with my ten of pentacles behind me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my version of heaven <laughs> i don't know um he seems awfully isolated to me um i don't know i mean you know the dogs are paying attention to him and the little girl is connected to the dog it's like you know She's I know curious. what you mean. I know what you mean, but it's it's a busy card, isn't it? Oh, there's a, there's a lot going on in this card. Yeah, it's got the tapestries that show family legacy and his yeah. cloak, and then you got. I, I think this is Waits anagram or what is that called? Oh. Monogram. So he sees himself as the Ten of Pentacles. He put it on this. And on the Hierophant's crown, he okay. sees himself as these people. I think it's kind of presumptuous of him, although he did leave quite the legacy, quite the legacy. But uh, he see, it seems like he accomplished so much, but he's still removed. But it might be one of those people who, the hell with the people, I just want to pet the dog. Yeah, I mean, I do sometimes see it as they are all connected, all these people. It's like that's his family and he can look at his life and think everything I've done, I can share with the people who matter to me, you know, and, and that includes my children, their wives, the grandchildren, the dogs. It's kind of like everybody's benefited because of, of, because of everything I've done. And what I've achieved in my life. I, I can see it that way sometimes. Yeah, he's definitely achieved a lot. Yeah. And that coat is fantastic that he's wearing. I know. <laughs> he's just gorgeous. It really is. But I kind of also see it sometimes that this card is just like a marketplace or like, I mean, that is to me the opposite of how we all are at the moment with social distancing. Yes. That, it represents a busy place with everybody interacting with each other. We can't do that at the moment. And, you know, usually I don't, I'm, I'm a bit of a recluse or agoraphobic myself. I don't like going out. But now that I can't, I'm getting a little stir crazy. <laughs> Such a rebel. <laughs> No, it definitely feels like a, the hustle and bustle of a kind of living in a kind of like a, a busy community, you know, it's, I don't know, I, I, I just think it's sociable, that card, which is something we're not allowed to be at the moment. And I know he, a lot of people say he looks grumpy. But he's got his hand out to pet that dog's head. I think that's just the beard. I don't. I don't think he's so grumpy. No. No. He wouldn't be petting the dog. He'd be flicking it on the nose, telling it to go away. Yeah. I'm, I mean, my immediate reaction to that card upright is this is good. It's kind of like it, it's achievement. It's kind of like all of this, everything it, here is of high value to him. You know, it's kind of it's kind of like it's worth the investment. Like a lot of people will benefit from this investment. If you put if you put the effort into this thing, it will pay off. That's what this card says to me. Yeah, and I like what you said. A lot of people, because those other people are in there. Yeah. Heck, this could even be, you know, a donation to the ASPCA. The What's animal that? shelters. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Where, where not only people would benefit and keep jobs, but they'd be able to take care of those animals. Because it is one of the cards with animals in it. Yes. It does seem like generosity. Because yes. he is does have his hand on the dog and those people are able to share in it. Although I don't know 
sometimes I see the spear or the, 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 yeah, it's a spear in this man's hand and think that he's a guard keeping unwanted people out. Because it's an open courtyard. That is a possibility as well, isn't it? Yes, they're not yeah. necessarily together. You could say that they're together and they're just talking to each other. But on the other hand, yeah, he might work for the the place. Yeah. Yeah, and keep it out, you know, the people the old guy doesn't want to see. Let yeah. him in who he wants to see. So it could be a level of... um privacy to where he's got guards in place to where he can see only has to see the people he wants to see now I'm, I'm also looking at that tower there because what was the purpose of towers back then i don't know pre-1900s like medieval times towers were for lookouts to, to yeah 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 so is it a castle or a palace or something, you know, the, the actual place? It looks like like it might be an abbey or a castle because it yeah. does have the tower and that's a giant courtyard, you know, that yeah, yeah. that open area. So either an abbey or a castle. And once again, he's got, is that the pomegranates that he's got all over his tunic at the bottom or are they grapes? I think they're grapes. The okay. grapes have a, like a continuous thing through the pentacles on the on the right, right away. Okay. So you know, does that kind of suggest that it's the woman in the in the nine is in his vineyard or something? Is it? Are they got some connection there with the vineyard? I don't know. It's possible, but I know. I think that he's just worked so hard. Like, okay. Um, going deep here that the grapes show that he worked with the land and that he did the work and that he built something that that became a legacy and all of the courts um the 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 queen and the king especially have the grapes in them the king and the queen right to show and the king of coins has that beautiful cape where the grapes look like they're grown right up onto him yes, so i yes. think he's like the the closest thing to royalty without being royalty right yeah that took a long time to explain but yeah yeah no i mean at the end of the day it's just a, a busy high value achievement long it's a very long-term card it's kind of if that again if if somebody got a job or a relationship or something and this came up i would say yeah this is for the long haul yes this, this is this is not some kind of you know ship passing in the night this is here to stay children grandchildren yeah uh, yeah this yeah. could be the one your gold watch for the pension yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah. A, it's a very very long-term card so if that's what you want um this could be very welcome coming up in in a reading oh heck yeah what about in reverse it could be that you you know you've lost you've lost your investment or something you know it didn't go right you've um it um it, it could also be i don't know like maybe um there's a some something in the family there's a dispute in the family and everyone's falling out or something you know nobody's appreciating each other or you know dis there's disrespect going on that sort of thing um division yeah it i'm almost feeling I, i'm seeing this in the reverse the fabric of the family is frayed mm, yeah yeah nice not nice but you know what i mean but yeah 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 and i see it as um look all ye on my works and despair have you ever heard that i think it's ozzy ozymandias old old i don't know if it's a truth or an old fable but in the story they found this just desolation nothing but 
dirt and dust for miles okay. and the only thing that existed out of this incredible dynasty was the the sign that said look all ye on oh look oh ye mighty on my works and despair and nothing was left but that sign oh god so where you said in the upright where it's something that was for long term and the reverse i see it as something that cannot hold yeah it, it makes me think of that sign in that desolate place where all right. that work you did nothing yeah. nothing will be left behind you to show for it God. yay right I, I i just had recently done quite a lot of work on my computer quite recent work but put a lot of time in and I put it all on a hard drive. That's the only place it was. I took it off the computer, put it on the hard drive, and the hard drive appears to be corrupted. So I think I've lost all of that. Oh. So do it all again. Oh. So that is kind of, that is a little bit like this in reverse. You know, I mean, it's only stuff that I've done in the last few months. It's not like years and years. Thank of, God. You know, but, but you've done a lot I, in the last few I months. I know. It's, yeah, including all my bingo sheets. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, I mean, you put. So I'm much... going to kind of contact them. You know, it's just we've all been off over Christmas and everything, and they've all been off. I'm going to send them an email tomorrow and just say, "Is there anything I could do?" But I've tried opening it on different computers. I've tried different leads, and and none of the computers are recognizing the hard drive. I hope they can help you because that's a lot. Of, oh my God. It, I mean, it was like, you know, weeks of work, not years of work, but. But that was, I mean, I remember when you did those, that was like that. Oof, is, yeah, never mind. We need to start putting them up on the Google Cloud and hope, hope to God nothing happens to the Google yeah. Cloud. But that but is I, a beautiful interpretation of that ten of coins in reverse. All that hard work. Poof. Now I did bring a couple of cards to show. Let's see what we got. Which one do you want to do first? I'll go with the Tarot del Fuego because this was a Christmas present. So I don't know this deck at all. I think it's very quirky. I love the colors. Obviously, these colors are throughout the whole deck i don't and uh, uh, it's a deck i've got to get used to what is it called tarot del del fuego f-u-e-g-o so i'm guessing it's kind of south american or something you know this the, the origins of this deck but there is this woman who looks a bit like me <laughs> She looks mean. You don't look mean. <laughs> well, I just, I just looked at her. I thought, who did she remind me of? And, and I felt like this with a carol singer off of the, um, the, the winter weight as well. But anyway, th here we have me with no clothes on. But she's a very tattooed version, right? Of, of I've got, I don't have any tattoos. But anyway, and she's there with this pile of coins, which sort of represents. She's got everything that she's kind of valued, you know, right there in front of her, covering her most private part, right? <laughs> um, and I just feel, I don't know, she's got like a bottle of wine or something there and a glass and it, it's, it's all very bright and colourful. And it's like, it's almost like she's, She's in her safe place. She's in her home where she just she can wander around naked and not oh. care. You know what I mean? You know, when you, you know, if you can't wander around naked in your own home and be completely free to be whoever you are and not care, if you can't do it there, you can't do it anywhere. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you shouldn't do it anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just think, She's being her absolute self, isn't she? Yeah. Do you see she has bat wings? She does. She, she does. Has bat wings. So she's able to show all pieces of herself. 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. When I first saw this card, I was like, what the hell is going on? But you explaining about her being able to just be herself. Yeah, exactly. And you do have to earn a place to do that. <laughs> yeah, she's earned the right. Yeah, you're right. She's earned the right. I mean, she's got a bottle of wine there. It looks like she's sort of drunk. She, she's halfway through her current drink. She's wandering around naked. She's showing off all her tattoos. She, she's got her bat wings on. I'm not quite sure what that means, but um, that obviously represents something. I think she's perfectly happy. Yeah. Ah. Is that Ten of Pentacles? Maybe she feels complete. Maybe she honestly feels like, don't need anything else, don't want anything else. I'm, I'm you know, I've, I've got all my tattoos. I'm covered in them. <laughs> I've got my drink. I've got my bat wings. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got some. Uh, I've still got some money left over, so I'm I'm all right. Thank you very much. The hat. I'm, tr I'm trying to work out the hat, or is it a bun on her head? Oh, I think it's a bun. bun. I think it's a bun. You know. Yeah, I think it's a bun. Oh, I think it'd be really cool if she let that bun down and just let her hair kind of go wild. <laughs> I feel all those red fire things going on. I feel that's noise. I think she's got music blasting as well. I think she's playing some sort of heavy rock music. And and and, and that's why she's got those rosy cheeks, because she's been dancing around. Oh, yeah. I just think she's having a wild time and, <laughs> and she doesn't know what anyone thinks. I've never seen this card before. It threw me for a loop. I like it. I like your interpretation of it. I mean, I've never, going... I've never sort of seen it before either, but I just thought I got it for Christmas. We're doing a deck of the uh, a, a card meanings thing. I'm going to dig out, you know, the Ten of Pentacles. And, and I thought, oh, I'm going to go with that one. It looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish she was actually smiling. If I yeah. had a criticism... I would like it that she was, I, I would like it that bit more if she was smiling. Yeah, that is I it. I like that. Wow. That's, that is the Tarot del well, that's an example of the Tarot del Fuego. I may come back to other cards, but it's a hot, hot deck. So. I'd never heard of it. I like seeing the new ones though. And you had another one too. What's yeah, Tarot the Wonderland, which I have done a deck of the week on. And I just think, oh, it's kind of like, it's, it very much is a 10 for me. It's kind of like she's come to the end of the story. She's got in a really cosy bed, which happens to be a great big chair. It's, she's back at home. Her animals are there. Everybody's safe. So once again, there's this safe thing going on. Yeah. You know? um, and I feel that a little bit with the Del Fuego as well, that she's at home where she can just be herself. And I just, and then I think that the home should be, and unfortunately this is not the case for everybody, but in an ideal world, your home should be your safe place. You yeah. are, especially when you tuck up at night, you, you should feel safe in your own bed, you know? Yeah. And I just feel, to me, that Alice, that's perfect for a Ten of Pentacles for me. But she's done that whole adventure, but she's at the end of it, she's come home, she's lying down like the cats and dogs that sleep all day on her favorite chair. And she's dreaming about the adventures that she's had, whatever, and all her family are up there. I think it's a really nice, they all lived happily ever after, you know? Um, and I saw this when you sent it. I was like, I know this card, but I don't have this deck. But when you said the Alice, our tarot in Wonderland, I was like, oh, that's why I know this card. Because I watched that. <laughs> I like, yeah. yeah. I love this for Ten of Pentacles. I love oh. the way the kittens are sleeping on her. And she's got the pictures of her family. Yeah. Yeah. It is so the end of a wonderful day, isn't it? yeah there's something Beautiful. about if you've worked really really hard and you just come home and you crash <sighs> and it's like 
you're tired, but it's just wonderful to just be able to come home and know that you haven't got to do anything else. There's no other responsibilities on you other than to fall <sighs> asleep when you feel like it. And, yeah. and it's in a cosy place. Yeah. It's the nicest feeling ever, isn't it? It's just, it's just how you want your story to end or your day to end, you know. Or that's perfect. It's a it's a winding down ending rather than a kind of a celebratory ending. It's a. That's a good point. Even on the rider weight, that's a winding down. It's it's. Ah, oh, nice. But winding down in the nicest possible way. Yeah. Not kind of, oh, it's all over now, kind of, you know. No, no, this this here is just very comfortable and nice. Mm -hmm. That's how. Yep. Mm -hmm. When I had to go out to work and actually drive and everything, there was nothing better than getting home and kicking my shoes off and throwing my bra in the corner, you know? Yeah. There's yeah nothing better and there's nothing worse than if you had that card reversed and it's like you were expecting to be able to just come home kick your shoes off like you said you know just get in your chair and it's like maybe you've bought yourself a takeaway or something and you're going to watch your favorite program and then just wind up and then something stops that from happening yeah control. yeah unbearable i agree let me see if I brought anything. Yes. Everyday Enchanted oh, Tarot. Lovely. And I love this one because he's up yes. in the center of that family. Yeah, he, that's lovely. Yeah. He's did all that work and did all that legacy, but he's inside of it. He's part of it. He is yes. very loved. Yes. Gorgeous. And they, they kept the dogs. <laughs> yeah. But everyday Enchanted, every single card has a little fairy in it. You just have to Oh, find it. that's gorgeous. There's a the yeah. little fairy on that one. That is so Ten of Pentacles. I, I, I mean, I would look at that scene without it saying the Ten of Coins or whatever, and I'd say, oh, that's very Ten of Pentacles. Yes. Yeah, it's generational. It's the whole... It's something about the Ten of Pentacles is definitely generational. That this will last. Okay, I know we're not talking about this. But do you see that as being cancer? You mean the the astrological sign, right? Yeah. I had to, my brain stopped for a yeah. complete minute there. I, I, and the Alice card that I just showed, not not maybe not so much the kind of the tattooed woman, but you know, it's got the home, the family, the, all being in your safe. Yeah, place. yeah. Where? Even though it's Earth, even though it's an Earth suit, yeah. I see this and the Alice one as very Cancer. Yeah. I'm not not seeing it as Capricorn. Whereas maybe the Ten of Pentacles in the right of weight is more Capricorn because they're out somehow. Yeah. Yeah. This These two cards we just looked at were much more Cancerian. I mean, there's something about the uh, um, the Ten of Pentacles in the right of weight where even though you still see possibly the same, we haven't got the two little girls in the right of weight one, but you see the family, but there's always the possibility that because they're out in that courtyard, that there's all sorts of other people just behind the wall. Whereas mm -hmm. the, the card you've just shown in Alice, we have to assume there is nobody else around other than members of that family. Right. And it's just all very sort of... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, big difference. Huh. Who's the thoughts? I know, right? <laughs> So, wow, I, I definitely get a stronger fami family, family feel from the Alice and the, and the yeah. everyday Enchanted. Something about the original Rider Waite, again, ambiguity. It could be he's part of that situation. It could be he set apart. But yes. something about the Rider Waite has a loneliness to it for me, like. When I look at it, I, I feel an isolation of sorts. So not every time, but like 
out of context. I can see how you could, uh, yeah, depending on the kind of like the way the reading was going. I yeah. can see how you could go that way with it. But, hmm. but the ten of coins, it does, there's something, I'm about to say a word that I might have invented. There's something destinational about the ten of coins. I like that Wait, word. word or does it exist? Uh, it does now. So to hell with anybody else. It exists now. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, do you know what I'm saying? There does seem to be. It, it, it is a sort of an endings card. It's kind of like this is kind of like where this is all heading or this is where this is all arrived at. But it also, it definitely is like that ending. This is what it will achieve. But because that has that generational feel to it, it looks like it can continue through another, yeah. you know, cycle. Catalyst. Yeah. Yeah. That it's, it's never really truly going to end. It's just time for that person who started it to sit back and enjoy everything yeah. he created yeah. and the safety and the comfort that he provided for countless people, you know? Yeah. Well, I kind of think perhaps we have reached our destination. On we our, have. On our <laughs> coins and our pentacles minors but you know we will be back um sh very shortly with the court cards for oh i'm excited coin. about the the court cards on the yeah pentacles. i'm very excited <laughs> so. yeah, very much so so thank you sharon and if anybody has enjoyed you know um or has any of their own interpretations or any or any particular cards you want to kind of from different decks that you want to share with us for any of the cards that we've discussed um yeah just get, get in touch but please subscribe to our channel and join our mailing list www.thepomegranategrove.com um we've got lots lots of lots of things coming up um and already available as well so Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. See you. Bye bye.